Welcome to this introduction to Autodesk Vault Professional. We will be covering how easy Vault is to use, making and tracking changes, and how with Vault you will be able to find content much easier. I have my Vault set up to automatically log in once I start Inventor. It just makes it much easier. Let's look at the Vault view inside of Inventor. The blue plus sign tells us that the current files are not in the Vault. The lock symbol indicates that those files are recognized as content center files and therefore marked as purchase content. Let's check in this drawing and type a quick note to let everyone else on the design team know that this is the initial check-in. The blue plus sign has disappeared and that is letting us know that these files are now in the vault and accessible by the rest of the design team. Now design is all about change so let's go make a quick change by opening the assembly right from the vault and see how vault handles that change process. Let's look at the vault view now that we are in the assembly. How did this assembly file get checked in? Well, if you check in a drawing, then all of the associated files automatically get checked in as well. Let's make a change to one of the components and see what happens. We change from a drilled hole to a countersunk hole. Vault prompts us to check the file out. These dialogues can be dismissed once we get used to the interface, but it's good to leave them up until we get used to what, we're, what they're asking. We go ahead, check the part out. The Vault is visually telling us that the file is checked out to us by being bright blue in the browser. While checking the file back into the Vault, we are prompted to first save. We type a quick note just to let everyone know that we changed the whole type. Vault allows us to see the history of files. We can see there are two versions of this file, and the notes are letting us know the history. We are also able to see where this file is used, therefore letting us know what is going to be affected by the changes we just made or are about to make. Metadata, or the properties that are on files, we can now use very purposefully in Inventor. Let's look at visual data mapping. Say we wanted to know what types of material are used in this assembly. If we don't like the color, we can change it. We are also able to create a selection set based on this found information that would allow us to simplify the design change process. The other benefit to having metadata on files is being able to search and find content much easier. Let's say we wanted to add a plastic component to this assembly. We are able to search the vault and find all the content that is plastic, or what about a brass fitting? This sure beats spending time searching or remodeling those fittings. Let's go take a look at the drawing now that we made a change to this assembly. Vault again is letting us know that a change was made to the assembly associated with this drawing, and it needs to be checked out. Let's check it in after a quick save. We can type a note to let everyone know that the whole type was updated. Let's look at the Desktop Vault Explorer. It looks very much like Windows Explorer. Our file structure is on the left. My work list is where ECOs that are assigned to you would show up. Shortcuts are very easy to create. Just right click on a file and select Create Shortcut. Over on the right hand side is where all of the metadata is visible and can actually be edited with associativity back to the file. The bottom pane is where we can actually interact with files that are stored in the vault. Let's recap what we covered in this brief presentation. We showed you how Vault will become part of your daily processes, how changes can be tracked, and how much easier it will be to find content once it all gets in the Vault. Vault will help you improve collaboration within your team. It will improve your daily processes, thus making you and your team more efficient, all the while only allowing secure access to your engineering data.